So we know there are 140 plus legendaries in the full Outriders game. The majority of them we don't know what they are or what they offer. But today we get a better look at two new weapons. A 5 piece armor set for the Pyromancer and a universal armor piece. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders be sure to subscribe. So I have covered a few of the weapons that I have grouped together in terms of legendaries which are not in the demo but we have seen in the trailers 20 plus in total some of which you are seeing on screen now but if you do want to check out the entire video where you will see these 20 amazing looking legendaries that ain't in the demo you'll find it on my channel along with many many other Outriders videos for your viewing pleasure but today we check out 8 more a slight glimpse at a 5 piece armor set for the Pyromancer, a better look at two new legendary weapons and what they do as well as a universal armor piece. Now we will start with the Pyromancer armor because this 5 piece set we actually don't know what it offers, we only get to see how cool it looks. To me it looks absolutely incredible, it reminds me of something our Lord of the Rings for sure. And I do believe this to be the armor we have seen in a couple of trailers too. Whatever this does though, it's going to be crazy. Now if I'm playing this game for over 100 plus hours on stream, there are many many Pyromancer players out there and I'm pretty certain you will love the look of this set, let's just hope it offers something as good as it looks. Ok so let's move on to the weapon and let's first check out this legendary full auto shotgun slug VAR. So this was first shown to me by a fellow content creator in Mags Reloaded if you do want to check her out and show her some love her channel you'll find linked down below. So this weapon is called the funeral pyre and from this image we can't see what this thing offers but thanks to a recent tweet by Outriders we actually get to see the benefits of this weapon and it's crazy people. So on screen now we can see an inventory shot of this weapon and wow check out it's tier 3 mod, it's called Shadow Comet, check this out. Shots cool down a comet dealing so and so damage to enemies within a 3.5 meter radius, like what the heck, this thing shots cool down comets, wow, how amazing does that sound people. We can also see this has a resistance breaker on too but it is all about that tier 3 mod. I mean guys from using blue rare automatic shotguns in the demo we know they kick ass but this beauty is going to be on another level for certain people. So the next legendary weapon we see from the same set of tweets is called the infernal seed. Now we have seen this before but ages back but like many of the older legendary weapons we did see they weren't stated as actually being a legendary but we can now confirm that this is a legendary weapon. And it looks great by the way which I'm sure you would agree. So the Infernal Seed and it's tier 3 mod is called Wrath of Moloch. And this is what it does. Critical hits cause an explosion dealing damage and inflicting burn on enemies within a 5 meter radius with a 3 second cooldown. This right here is going to be absolutely murderous on the Pyromancer with its ad clearing capabilities for sure people. But yeah guys those are the two new weapons we have for today but the video doesn't end there as after checking out a few other sources I came across an interesting legendary armor piece which I haven't seen anyone mention for ages and it comes from an old Arex video on the game where he had early access so credit to Arex and this image his channel can be found linked down below. So what we have here is a universal armor piece, what this basically means is it's a legendary armor piece that any character can wear, so it isn't like a lot of the armor in this game where it's tied to a certain class. It's called All Reliable and for me it does look indeed great, not as incredible looking as some of the other legendary armor pieces we've seen but it does look pretty cool. Now this information was confirmed by a people can fly dev over on reddit like 4 or 5 months ago as you can see on screen now, who does confirm there are a few other universal armor pieces like this in the game, which is great. Makes you wonder though about how we can share our stash across our classes and let's say if we obtain a high level version of this on our main character, create a new character because this is a universal armor piece, can we put it in our stash and then use it on a lower created class to make things much easier 
I wonder if this will be the case, or maybe there are certain things going to be put in place to limit such things, but we will see people. But yes, it's really interesting for sure. And while that's all I have for you today, eight new legendary pieces. And I do look forward to finding more and sharing them with you guys. But on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders, be sure to subscribe. If you never want to miss a video or a stream, make sure you turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.